Yeah, what's going on guys? Seth Spartan here, nutrition training and hormone expert with Prometheus HRT, the world's best testosterone and hormone replacement clinic. Use my code SPARTAN to save on either testosterone or HGH replacement therapy. Guys, today we're going to be talking about Deanabol, safe dosage. What is a safe dosage for Deanabol? And this medication is available with a prescription through Prometheus HRT. Guys, what do you need to know? Well, I am going to go on record and first first and foremost, guys, state in my opinion, again, talk to your doctor before you do anything, uh, whoever's helping you with your treatment plan or whatever you're doing. Um, but in my opinion, guys, there is no safe dosage of Deanabol. No safe dosage. All right, that is my opinion. Um, uh, you know that there's no safe dosage of Deanabol. Now, why? I'm I'm going to explain quickly, and then I'm going to give you a dosage for the people that you know absolutely want one. So the reason why there's no safe dosage of Deanabol, let's go to the original scientist and doctor who created Deanabol. Um, Deanabol is an extremely hard. Uh, anabolic oral steroid on the heart. Uh, Dr. John Ziegler, Ziegler, I think that's how you pronounce his name, uh, after he invented Deanabol, there was tons and tons of problems uh, with bodybuilders taking Deanabol long-term causing uh, heart issues. So this drug, Deanabol, um, has a long extensive history of creating heart problems. Uh, you know, in many, many bodybuilders, uh, Dr. John Ziegler talked about this himself and ultimately uh, wish that he did not create Deanabol for this very reason. Now, why? We can speculate, uh, but based upon medical and scientific evidence, uh, we can kind of come to the conclusion that the reason Deanabol, uh, you know, is so much worse than other oral uh, anabolic steroids in terms of, uh, you know, any possible long-term issues is because of the rapid, uh, extreme conversion to estrogen metabolites. And, you know, what this is going to do is it's going to spike up uh, estrogen levels through the roof. You're going to get kind of this whiplash effect uh, with Deanabol. Uh, and this is going to very negatively affect cholesterol uh, and also uh, cholesterol and lipid levels in the body. Um, so anyways, guys, uh, for those of you that you know want to use Deanabol regardless, again, this is my opinion, uh, but Deanabol is available through Prometheus HRT and other uh, hormone replacement clinics. Uh, so if you're set on using Deanabol, I'm going to give you a dosage, but they, but please take into account my two cents. Uh, a safe dosage. I am going to go with exactly what Dr. John uh, Ziegler um, uh, advised, prescribed uh, his patients after he created Deanabol. So what does the scientist doctor who created Deanabol recommend? His recommendation is 5 to 15 milligrams of Deanabol per day. That's it. So an extremely low dose. Granted, guys, you know, whatever you get through Prometheus HRT or whatever you get through a clinic, it's going to be 100% pharmaceutical prescription grade uh, Deanabol, obviously. Um, so in terms of this is this is his recommendation. Now, a lot of clinics, you know, will go far higher than that, but I stick to his recommendation. Why? Because I trust the man who invented it. And, uh, you know, again, Deanabol is extremely harsh on the liver. You know, it's, it, it cannot be understated enough. Go watch my Deanabol uh, full expert breakdown video. But it's extremely harsh on the liver. Uh, and also, again, the long term heart effects. If you're going to use Deanabol, guys, please, 5 to 15 milligrams per day. Uh, you know, and if you're going to take it, uh, I would advise, again, my opinion only, check with your doctor. But I would, uh, in my uh, expert opinion, I would advise uh, taking that pre-workout dissolved in about 16 ounces of water. Uh, why? Because this is going to greatly cut down liver toxicity. And I have, like I've talked about in other videos, I have seen this uh, in lab results. Uh, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, please keep submitting your questions. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we are out of here.